Well, my name's uh, Elvis Ray, and I am one of the partners that own Joint Force Enterprises. Uh, basically, what we do here is we are a weapons manufacturer here in the Jacksonville area. We do everything from coating to uh, water transfer printing for large production uh, rifles out in the industry from big names. What's your background? Uh, I was in security forces for four years in the Air Force, and then I also did uh, Coast Guard for another four years. Since I've been doing that, uh, afterwards I became a contractor and I've been an instructor for various uh, contracts out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so what I noticed here is between the AR-15 style rifles and the handgun, I was able to fire off approximately the same amount of bullets in the same amount of time. That is correct. What you can do is, depending on how many um, rounds are, are, your, are in your magazines, uh, you'll be able to fire off as fast because the difference between these guns is that their triggers work the same way. They're both semi-automatic pistols. So the handgun is semi-automatic and also the AR-15 platform is a semi-automatic. So as fast as you can pull your trigger is as fast as the rounds will go out. What makes this different from your traditional old-fashioned deer hunting rifle? Well, there's not much difference in the way it works with um, on how it functions. Basically, it's all cosmetic. It's all looks. It works the same way, and it does the same amount of damage. So why are we hearing critics say AR-15s are used in more school shootings than anything? Uh, it's basically because of the way it looks. In my opinion, it's the way it's militarized and uh, the way it functions. Uh, it functions the exact same as any other rifle. The mere fact is, is that it just looks and it has a certain way that it presents itself. Would you call this an assault weapon? No, absolutely not. Why not? Because an assault weapon or a machine gun is a automatic weapon that will shoot whenever you pull the trigger and keep it to the rear, then it will continuously fire rounds until one, you either remove your trigger off, or I'm sorry, you move the, your finger off the trigger or you run out of ammunition. Okay. Is one of these deadlier than the other, in your opinion? Absolutely not. They both will, they both can kill a person. They both can cause bodily damage or death. If you were in a gunfight, what would you rather be up against though? Somebody with one of these or somebody with a rifle? Well, that all depends on training. Now, obviously, you don't want to ever go into a situation that you're outgunned. So if I was up against somebody with an AR platform, then obviously I would want to at least have that. Having a handgun is going to put you at a disadvantage. So if you, I had to pick from the two, then obviously I would want to pick the AR-15 platform. Um. Do you think these should be banned? Absolutely not. I, I, think, I think that we have the right for our Second Amendment to have these guns. Should more be done, though, to keep these out of the hands of certain people? There, there's so much to talk about when it comes to the, the paperwork, the paper trails, the red tape to distinguish whether somebody is eligible to have one of these firearms. Yes, it's our Second Amendment right to be able to carry one of these with us. Should there be a stricter policy? Absolutely. I think that uh, we can polish up some of the laws and regulations, but I also have to say that that's, that's a whole can of worms that you really, uh, it, it's gonna take a lot of people to come together to actually make that happen. Should these maybe not be in the hands of an 18 or 19 year old? Would you be opposed to a, a 21 and up or would that make a difference? I was in the military and I joined when I was 18 years old. And for me to not be able to have one of these, if I was probably ending up going to war, I don't think, uh, I don't think that's fair because if I can be in the stateside and maybe do some training to get me ahead of the game, before I go to war, I'm sorry, but 
there's several uses for these rifles. They're not just for what everybody is making them out to be. Uh, I use these for sporting events. They're sporting events that are here, and uh, I go to them all the time. And we go and we shoot in competitions. So just like any other sport, is it dangerous? If it's in the wrong hands, yes, it can be. But as long as you're safe and you know what you're doing, it's just like driving a car. You have to have a certain responsibility to be able to do that. With the laws in place right now, should the Parkland shooter have been flagged and prohibited from buying something like this? I think there were a lot of, I, I definitely, in my opinion, he fell through a lot of cracks. And I don't want to cast blame on, on anybody, but uh, yes, I think he should have been flagged a long time before, so this would have never happened. None of us ever want to see this happen. I mean, this is our community too. And for somebody to, to have that kind of uh, firepower with them and be able to do that kind of damage when it's been reported so many times, we're all against something like that. That's the last thing I want anybody to do, especially if it's one of my products that I'm putting out there. Uh, we don't want that, and, but we do all the proper things necessary to keep that from happening. We follow every single law and we abide every single regulation that we need to, to make sure that this doesn't happen. Great. Anything else you want to put out there? Um, nope, that's, that's pretty much it.